kids, mummies are here, and especially my number one and two. It's okay. It's okay. When we meet, we just need to meet and hug. Then everything gonna be fine. You don't need to worry anything. Nobody can. Nobody can do this to us. The God knows. I will see you very soon. I will see you very soon. Really, mommy promise. Lebih dari 20 tahun di dunia televisi, apa masih ada cerita yang belum pernah saya dengar? Oke okay then, let's spill the tea. Spill the tea, hari ini istimewa sekali kita kedatangan bintang tamu, Amy. Amy ini adalah seorang ibu rumah tangga, seorang ibu berkeluarga negaraan Korea. Yang kemarin kasusnya sempat ramai uh, karena kejadian uh, anak-anaknya, empat anaknya diambil oleh suaminya yang berkebangsaan Singapura bersama asistennya yang berkebangsaan Indonesia. Dan sang asisten ini diketahui juga uh, beberapa kali pernah viral juga untuk kasus-kasus atau uh, cerita tentang bagaimana dia terlibat kasus hukum, kemudian juga ada uh, ketika dia pernah mau meluncurkan sebuah lagu, kemudian pernah bercerita dia punya apa ya cerita bersama dengan public figure lainnya begitu. Nah uh, pada saat Emmy ingin me- bertemu dengan bayinya, ingin menyusui bayinya yang sudah terpisah beberapa bulan, uh, kemudian terjadi keributan dan video itu kemudian viral dan Emmy meminta tolong kepada um, netizen Indonesia karena dia tidak tahu harus berbuat apa. Untuk bisa berkumpul kembali bersama anak-anaknya. Kasus ini terus bergulir. Dan ada banyak wawancara. Baik wawancara terhadap Amy. Maupun kepada pihak suaminya. Dan masing-masing memiliki keterangan. Uh, dari sisi mereka masing-masing. Hari ini kita sudah kedatangan Amy. Dan kita akan bertanya. meng beberapa hal yang sudah disebutkan. Baik oleh pihak suami Amy. Maupun juga video yang sempat muncul. Uh, terkait pernyataan dari anak-anak Amy. Oke, okay. Amy. Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Um, how are you today? Um, today a little bit sad because um, yeah, I saw my kids uh, uploaded a video and my husband. Mm-hmm. I didn't really watch fully. I yeah, my friends actually give me the summary of what they said because I have no heart to. Look at their video. <laughs> yeah. But you mm-hmm. pick a little a bit about the video? Yeah, I I know what they said. That's uh, I heard I heard through my friends. How do you feel? Um it's a very heart aching and heartbreaking. And I can imagine that what kind of a uh, circumstances and or what kind of environment forced them to say that And especially for my boy, I know that he's always a mommy's boy. So for him to say such a things, mm, <laughs> you can imagine that he probably feel really bad or feel sorry to me. That's what I believe. Yeah. But as long as they are stay safe, I'm okay. And the thing is, I really hope my husband stop using my kids to against me. Mm-hmm. I I hope Singapore side, I can find a solution to let the kids to talk to the party who is more professional, who is more trained as a, like a psychologist or, you know, the professionals who can access my kids and uh, give the truth. Mm-hmm. That would be a better way instead of uh, one of us or hostage kids and make them to say what what they really want or not. Okay, That's so, not fair. So you already watched the video and you saw how 
your kids? I only saw the video first screen. Then I cannot watch. I couldn't. I couldn't. So the people around me actually summarized the key point and let me know. Yeah. I have no heart to watch. Sorry. Yeah. Your second son is breathing so like have have a heavy breathing a lot mm. when many talk. Yes. All right. So Amy, I will show you again this video that uh, has been viral for several days now. Yes. No, oh, this video. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I actually didn't watch the video so until recently. Yeah. You can feel again your feeling in this situation. Yes, yes. I, I exactly remember how how I felt back then because I wanted to talk it out with my husband and get I that day my hope was very high that I can get the baby back but the moment I saw the the TE was holding my baby and even holding it's only four month baby you, she cannot hold baby like that you need to support a baby back and the neck so the moment I saw her holding my baby, I just snapped. I actually I can't really remember what I did. I only wanted to get my baby. The mistress can hold a baby, but I cannot. What is that, right? <laughs> okay. So Amy. Uh, in several podcasts, uh, your husband said that you hired a tux to I don't know, accompany you at the hospital to meet the baby. Is that true? Who's the people around you that accompany Sorry. you? <laughs> no. um, I don't know how to explain. Okay. Um, no, I don't have money. First, I don't have money to hire those. And I don't have a connection to find out th that kind of people. And that's a bloody insert thing for people who has a kind heart really helping me from the day that he snatched my baby away. People surrounding me help me out of their kind heart. You can go and talk to them, every single of them, the mummies and the assistant that he fired, the rear assistant, the lady that who worked for him, she made all kind of a plan for my every single kids and my kids because I wasn't around at home right anymore, the kids stick to her. I can see it. And she loved my kids. Within such a short time period, she became like second mom to my kids, you know. Then he accused her, which <sighs> I don't know, I have no words for that. But that assistant. And he fired my son's shadow teacher and that lady and the helpers that he fired. Everybody helping me now. Everybody, every day they morning wake up, text me, ma'am, are you alright? How are you? Pray for you. And all mummies, my daughter's class mummies. And even now her friends, the fr her friends, Text me, PM me, auntie, I'm so sorry. Be strong. We will talk to Shani. Sorry, you need to leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, and my mom too can feel your yeah, pain. Yeah, so he cannot, he cannot say that I, I didn't, I didn't hire anybody the, that day, the two lady. Then the, my law, the pro bono lawyers. Pro bono lawyers. Yeah, it was uh, such a last minute that I found out. 
I just informed the lawyer that I'm tra trying today, trying to go to the hospital and see whether I can get back the baby. The one of the lawyer was nearby and the other lawyer was like rushing. Okay, let me go down. So everybody just came down to help me, you know. Did you ever bribe the personal assistant, the shadow <laughs> teacher of your children? The answer is no. And I really want to ask my husband and that woman because it seems that that woman is a pretty sure that I can bribe anybody. Let me logic with you. According to them, I'm really good at bribing. When they hire the new assistant, I think I can talk about her name, right? Mm -hmm. So when they hired Davina, the, his instruction to her is like, don't talk to me. Yes. Yeah. And what I heard is like, when he described about me, I'm very good at bribing. So the previous helper, previous helper. So I think about total five of the helpers are sacked and I bribe every single of them. Mm. So I, one time I asked him, how can I bribe when I don't have a money? And the thing is, what's the definition of a bribing? Mm. By bribing them, what am I getting at the end of the day? The bribing means you bribe to achieve something, right? Yes. So what, what can I get by uh, bribing helpers and the assistant? To separate the special personal assistant, maybe. But how? How can they separate them, right? And the thing is, uh, one of my helpers, she was uh, very, very upset because of how they accuse her is like, I bribed her, mm -hmm. then she's been taking the certain portion of a salary from the other two helpers because uh, this uh, helper, she can speak English well mm -hmm. and she is a very strong lady, can organize mm -hmm. everything. So this actually, is Davina. No, is not Davina, it's a other. helper. Oh, helper. Okay. Yeah. So she's a very smart lady. Mm -hmm. So my husband also trusts her a lot. Mm -hmm. I trust her a lot. Mm -hmm. She was so capable to take care of her family, meal planning, mm -hmm. grocery, mm -hmm. uh, how to take care of the kids. Uh, yes. Yeah, she, so basically she's, she was uh, helping me a lot. Mm -hmm. Then she decided to come out with me when I was chased out. So my husband was pretty disappointed, I guess, because I can see that he treat her very well. And my helper also, very appreciative to my husband mm -hmm. yeah but she decided to decide to help me because i have a newborn baby mm -hmm. and yeah i really appreciate it and she suggests that she will travel you know stay it's with me but forth, yeah, yeah the house because the all three kids was uh, very stick to that helper as well oh I see. yeah but at the end uh, your husband fired that yeah helper. at the end my husband fired her because she didn't uh, follow his instruction and the thing is she clearly told him uh, you are my boss I can work for you but I cannot work for her mm. because for you. Mm. yeah because uh, it's not only me the other helpers also experience and other the assistant also experience the lady who is very capable as a PA she's been accusing my the helpers with the what what they didn't do she made a mistake when my husband scold her she told him that it's not me because of her because of her she did it she did okay. it you mean, i don't want to talk about this kind of bad mouthing things but since they are talking about bribing and accusing me and he just uh, have to accuse all the good people i cannot take it so please don't mind that I have to talk about this bad mouth a little bit. Okay. You mean the the personal assistant? You mean the special one? Yeah, special one. Yeah, let's special. say a special one. Yes, the special one. Okay. So, I mean, your your husband' uh, statement said that he gave you unlimited card and give you first class treatment after you give birth to your fourth child. Is right. it true? Yeah, it's true. Uh, so there is uh, this uh, certain brand of a uh, credit card, uh -huh. the mental card that uh, he applied and he uh -huh. gave me the sub card. Uh -huh. And yes, that uh, the n name itself of the card is like unlimited. 
-hmm. Yeah, I've been using that for my business okay. because my business in Singapore uh, it require a lot of uh, upfront payment for the hotels and uh, mm -hmm. the venues because mm -hmm. my clients mm -hmm. are coming down from Korea to Singapore and do the event and training. Mm -hmm. So uh, as you use that kind of card, the credits mm -hmm. and the pre balances are there. Mm -hmm. So it, that's a, both of us agree and he, uh, he let me use that credit card okay. so that he will be eligible for certain benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because th that one time to you know big uh, kind of a marina bay sands hotel booking for mm -hmm. like a 20 rooms mm -hmm. is already how much right yes. yeah and yeah. get so, the point right 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 mm -hmm. so he let me use uh, his uh, credit card which my company actually pay for it all right whatever expandings oh i see so yeah yes, it's not card? he i'm i'm not using his money okay right because it's credit card right yeah, so when the clients finish the event, pay back, uh -huh. then the, the credit card bill is paid by what I earn. Yes, so it's uh, only for business, not for your daily okay, expenses. So we have a few cards, uh -huh. so he, he is a very good at finance. Uh -huh. So there is a certain rule for certain card is good for this business, business and certain card for the daily use and uh -huh. expenses. Uh -huh. But when he chased me out, yeah, I return him most of card except only that one unlimited card. Because? Because I I wanted to resume my business because when he chased me out, uh -huh. the condition is uh -huh. I support you for six months. Uh -huh. After that, you need to stand by yourself. Yes. So uh -huh. to do the business, my business required upfront uh -huh. payment. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm in Jakarta, the, uh -huh. the teams, my uh, the implementation team is in Singapore. The payout things have to be settled by me. Okay. So I needed that. So I explained him when gonna the hotel charge this amount, this kind of things, pre informed. And yes, I was using that one. And also, that's the only credit card I was holding. Mm. So whatever I order for baby stuff like diapers and you know. Mm -hmm. So I use it. And uh, the thing is, I can open up the what I spend. Yes. Yeah. He knows because the. He knows. Yeah, the charges. And the card is a sub. Subcard. Subcard, yes. Whatever I spend, he will see all in the bill. Mm -hmm. So there's no way that you retract the cash and bribe the assistant. The <laughs> credit card can... <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Uh, no, no, there's okay. no way. And so, I'm not going to go going through that mm -hmm. kind of a low level of uh, mm -hmm. things. I don't know where the, uh, the idea comes from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay. I'm not that kind of person. You are working, right? You have your own money then. I, I used to have used to have what do you mean by used to have the money so i have my business back in singapore yes. yeah so uh i have incomes and profits of course mm -hmm. yeah so our arrangement finance arrangement between uh, two of us mm -hmm. uh because my is a personal business mm -hmm. so uh the money after uh uh, cost out all the business mm. activity there will be profit left mm. in the company account mm. yeah so I use that one to pay for the family credit card bills so most of the credit card we spend is uh, paid by me or if the cash flow is uh, not good then he will pay first then we reimburse that amount from the company account so there is uh, all the uh, history of a transaction in the company account so that one I can prove yeah and what he said is like uh, so since uh, the credit card bills are covered by my company earning and uh, the cash flow whether he pay or not it will go into his account right so his salary yeah mm -hmm. from his salary uh, might be we spend some more for like a rental of a house or kids education then remains of uh, his salary he take it as a savings. So he kept the savings. You agree with that arrangement? Yes, I trust him 200%. And the thing is, I, I have to admit that I'm not good at with the numbers. And, and I'm not bright about how to invest and how to play around with the money. So from very, very beginning, very beginning, we are, both of us are totally open to how much we have. Okay. And it was a very transfer, transparent, transparent. Yeah, until until twenty twenty one, I think he at the end of a year, he he I call him king of Excel. 
he can make the perfect Excel sheet with the, all the, our savings mm. and uh, how much we spend. And within the, the spend, mm. he even make it like uh, education mm. and food and mm. health. Mm. So it's kind of uh, one Excel sheet with the, all the uh, yes. statistics mm. for our mm. family expenses. Yes. Mm. He was very good at that. So he shared with me at the end of the year and mm. the, he, he is a very uh, like a planning person. So yeah, we used to plan like uh, this year, mm. our target is this much, how much work we need, you know? Yeah. Very organized for okay. that. This is yeah. the last year that you received the report. That, that was last one was I think 2022 or 2021. Mm. Okay, this is 2020 last. 2020 or 2021. Okay. But last, yeah, last, you know, yeah. Okay. But if I'm not mistaken, gitu ya, um, your husband chase you, chase you out of the house yeah. because uh, the house is his. Yeah, that's that what he told me. This is my hot earning house. You didn't participate any. He, that's what he told me. I exactly remember when he dumped me. Okay. Yeah. But you have a joint account. How could that house is only his? Whatever he put the efforts and activities uh, he's been uh, working in Indonesia, I think maybe the special PA helped him a lot. So he maybe think that that's their effort. I don't know. While I'm taking care of uh, the family back in Singapore, he was uh, here with her, right? So maybe th they work hard for that. That house. He bought that house or no? Rent? It's uh, it's a landed. It's a landed by his company because uh, he's an expert here. So the the house and uh, the car and kids' education. There there is a like expert terms, right? Okay. Yeah. So okay. So he chased the legal house. The he he chased the legal wife out of the house Family that house. land by the company. Right. Right. Yeah, and as you mentioned that uh, he mentioned, he gave me the top notch, uh, the hospital service when I give birth, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, he chose the hospital gave us uh, the options for delivery room. Yeah, yeah, he chose the best one. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's been like emphasized that how much he paid for it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you about it. He paid or the company paid? I think that one he paid. Oh, okay. Yeah because I use his credit card. Okay. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, yeah. Um, so there is actually a confusing part. I, this one, I want to talk about it in the Singapore court. But since he mentioned, <sighs> he accused me that uh, the I cheated, right? And yes. uh, he think that the baby it's may not, not belong to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then you still, okay. So fine that you didn't, accompany me when I give birth. Is right? Yeah, I gave birth with my helper. And it's fine for you? Of course not fine, right? <laughs> but he did it. Yes. So what can I say? Mm -hmm. I have to let it go. But, yeah. But but the thing is, yeah, you, you think that the baby is not yours. I cheated. And you still provide me like a five-star range of the hospital service. So where's the logic of that? Yeah. yeah, I want to ask you, what is the logic of that? Okay. Or is it too generous? Mm. And uh, the thing is, uh, now, I yeah, I heard that in the his interview, he said, uh, at the, the host asked him whether he did a DNA test, is it? Mm. DNA test. Mm -hmm. uh, then he is like, does it matter? Is it? Uh, how can it not matter? Mm. So he's uh, willing to take care of uh, kids that is not his? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Yeah. So uh, please do the DNA test. That's uh, one of the uh, requests that I'm going to make. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Amy. Uh, there's another question for, from the netizen. If, if your relationship with your husband is a little bit uh, rocky, uh, why you still uh, pregnant then or plan to have a baby for the fourth baby what happened oh okay yeah the, i think you know the 16 years together including our dating time almost 17 years together of course two 
totally different stranger, grown up from different country, different language. Getting together, there will be, of course, uh, you know, uh, sometimes the argument, sometimes you need to adjust yes. each other to mm. live together, right? But we did it until this point. Mm. And I thought we are, yeah, we are making happy family. And I, I wanted uh, more kids as I'm the only child. I grown up alone. So I always wanted to, you know, give my kids uh, siblings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and when I, okay, when I got pregnant, Actually, we didn't plan. It was mm -hmm. accident. You were on the pill, in the cardiac Yes, pill. I was yeah. on a contraceptive pill for three years. Mm -hmm. Even Gaini said it's like a miracle baby, 0 0.001%. Yeah. But still have a possibility. Yeah. That even though... Uh, jadi masih ada... Jadi dia bercerita bahwa pada saat dia hamil, memang mereka tidak merencanakan. Dan dia memang sedang berada dalam uh, konsumsi pil kontraseptif atau pil KB gitu ya. Tapi walaupun setiap kontraseptif uh, alat kontraseptif itu setiap punya 0,0 sekian untuk ketidakberhasilan alias bisa saja terjadi pembuahan gitu. Dan ini memang yang terjadi, right? Oke. Okay. Yeah, And yeah. then what so, happened? So the I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I discussed with him because uh, given the circumstances I wasn't sure whether keeping the, the baby baby mm. is right or not. Mm -mm. But he is the one insists. He said, He's the one insists. Yeah, he told me, don't think about bad things. Mm -mm. Yeah. It, it happened, it happened. Keep the baby. He wanted to keep the baby. Yeah. And uh, as they are Chinese race, uh, my in laws asking their friend who is a feng shui master, Mm -hmm. about my pregnancy, then uh, she said, uh, this baby will bring the great fortune to my husband. So everybody wanted to keep it. So I, I continue with my pregnancy. Yeah. Ketika Amy bertanya, apakah ini waktu yang tepat gitu ya untuk uh, mempunyai anak keempat gitu. Suaminya justru yang bersikeras untuk mempertahankan bayi itu. Tidak usah berpikir hal yang buruk. Dan bahkan ketika suaminya bertanya kepada temannya, gitu ya, uh, ya Feng Shui, uh, mengatakan bahwa bayi ini akan membawa keberuntungan. Gitu ya. Bring the good luck. Ya. Yeah. And Action. basically make my husband to uh, go further for his career. Oke. Okay. So, when did you hear your husband have a doubt about the babies? That's when the time that he dumped me, it's like... A the baby's already born? No, no, before baby oh, was be born. Oh, yeah. before? Three, yeah. three weeks before? Three weeks before uh, I gave birth. Suddenly? Yeah, the, the time that, yeah, he suddenly dumped me. Yeah, the time that he told me we are done. Yeah. And then he said that he doubted the baby. He said, I, I, I'm not so sure whether the baby belongs to me. All of a sudden? So, oh. okay, Amy. Uh, so there's a also a uh, accusation that you bring a tons of men in the house. Yeah, you already explained it in your video. Yeah, that. Mm. What's the proof? You you live with your my in-laws. Your my in -laws. kids are there. Singapore and Indonesia. You both. Both. I, I live with my in-laws uh -huh. even before we have a marri uh, the wedding. I moved into his uh, family house okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, before we get married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from then all the way until these so things happen, I live with my in-laws all the time. So it's almost impossible you bring tons of men. Oh, I, I want to know if uh, my in-laws uh, otherwise are saying something, then Wow, then they are very generous, right? If they allow me to bring the men yeah. to the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how's your relation with your in-laws? Is it good? Well, you know, I believe it wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. You know, do you have a good relationship with your in-laws? Yes. Yeah. Uh, when you live together, mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Sometimes different, yeah. different background, different mm -hmm. language, different culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't say that I'm uh, like a good daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, they probably have a lot of complaints about me. Mm -hmm. I do have that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's two different culture always completing. But 
we are adjusting and we live together of, okay. so mo over the decades, right? Yeah, I, I think our relationship is normal. I don't know what, what they're going to say, but for me, I don't want to complain anything. Okay. Yes. Anyways, they are the one help me to take care of my kids from beginning. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Amy, when did you first uh, suspect that there's something between your husband and the other part? Mm. And uh, how, I feel weird, and uh, I had uh, this. Uh, woman's instinct, mm -hmm. the moment I saw her first The time. moment you saw her? Yeah, so mm -hmm. we came, whole family came to Jakarta, mm -hmm. uh, November 27, 2022. Mm -hmm. So she being as a PA, mm -hmm. she was uh, waiting for us outside of the airport with the cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then Aiden introduced us to the family that, oh, this is my PA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She looked nervous, but uh, I was like, hmm. PA looks a bit different what I expected, yeah. But then, yeah, PA is PA, so I thought she's uh, helping us. But then I uh, see her second time, third time, I realized that she can't speak English. She can't speak English? Yeah, uh, her English is very limited, mm. yeah. How, so, how he mm. interact with the children? She? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, how she interact with the children? I don't know. Maybe you could translate her. Okay. Yeah. That bad? Mm, the English? Why don't you invite her and talk? Okay. We will yeah. we'll try. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I talked to her a few okay. times. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not a PA. She can speak English a bit, but that's not the PA level. Yeah. For the, the real PA. It's like and Davina. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You have to be able to communicate. Mm -hmm. When you uh, hire the PA, especially in uh, mm -hmm. the foreign country, that person supposed to help mm -hmm. you to translate uh, mm -hmm. local language and the English, right? Mm -hmm. And also able to use the computer or whatsoever yes. tool to give you like a summary of uh, meetings and you know that supposed to be a lot of admin work for your PA. Mm -hmm. But I haven't seen her using the laptop. Or you know, probably speak English. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, how is your relation uh, before you move to Indonesia? My relationship with my husband. Yes. Uh, is it any different behavior after he have uh, assigned to Indonesian base? Yes. Yes. Uh, so I, I look through all our Facebook photos and our family photos. We pretty much look very happy. And we spend a lot of time together with the kids, you know, going for a, a work at the park, you know, uh, having a lot of fun. But yeah, he started to talk to me, uh, complain me a lot for uh, like uh, me being uh, not taking care of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The first thing I remember was like, there was a, he, he's a big venting out to me that uh, it seems you decide to be the mother, not the wife. When is that? That was a 2021. Mm. He's already moved to Indonesia. He already yeah, he moved. was a, a start to traveling back and forth. Later part of 2021 and early 2022. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he kept saying that I'm incapable of prioritize the family. And you know, the, the, mm. the one that he accused, yeah, it, at least there is a, some of a consistency there. But uh, later on, I think he adding on the cheating and other things. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So um, when he said that, is that the reason why you uh, decide to move to Indonesia then? Yes, yes. He told me and he told whole family that uh, I, he can't do alone here anymore. He feel lonely. He wants uh, full support from the family mm -hmm. and uh, the kids will be better off here with the international school and the conditions are better here. Mm -hmm. So he pre he said that he is pretty sure everybody going to be happy. Okay. So as a wife, right? Yeah. So that's why I found my partner to hand over my work. Yeah. Then so, we... So you leave your work leave. there? Yeah. yeah. The, because the company is a Singapore company. Okay. Yeah. So you leave your company, you move in Indonesia to yeah. accompany your husband. Right. Like I said before, and then you, he abandoned you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then 
And then what happened to your relationship? Is it still good or there's uh there is a, a it was a very rocky the beginning because uh November came here, right? Then uh I found out uh some inappropriate message between them in uh, uh, almost end of uh, December mm -hmm. 2022. Mm -hmm. So I confronted and he denied. Then, you know, the arguments, they're ongoing. And what I wanted to, what I want him to do was uh, just uh, sack her, get another PA. Let's move on. Okay. If you care for me, that's all what I want. And you see me suffering, at least you can do that. Because PA is, can be replaceable, right? Yes. Yeah. Unless that person is so special. It's the, your employee, mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. can be replaceable. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Then he, he said it's very difficult to find a proper, uh, the helpful PA. And she's been involved in a lot of uh, his business. And uh, she knows everything, so it's difficult for him to sack her. He, if she's gone, then he will suffer. And he trying to show me that how much uh, work he has to do without her. Like what? I don't know the admin stuff, and uh, this could be you know claiming things to the company. Uh, yeah, it could be done by her. And now I'm doing it, kind of things. Oh, okay, yeah. So after that, then it's uh, become rocky. Yeah, rocky. But uh, both of us agree that uh, we back then we don't want divorce. Back then, okay. Yeah, both uh, of us until, until three weeks before you labor. Yeah, for me, I didn't want to get divorced mm. all the way until uh, I I can't decide the timing. But the day that I gave birth alone, I cry a lot and I saw the baby. I kind of let let him go. Mm. I mean, like I was uh, still hopeful and holding on to him that, okay, he's a man in the business. These things could happen. Uh, and he he as he denied, right? So I thought, yeah, he will still uh, you know come Try back, to come back to the family. Mm -hmm. Then we can go back to where we are, where we are happy. Yeah, but that day when I gave birth, I kind of let him go uh, and uh, then realized that because he told me he wanted to separate. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I come to think of it, I still trying to this much, although it's become small, 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 but I still you holding still on to him. Yeah. I still had a hope that it's going to be, you know, go back. But the time that he took away my baby, that was the that was the double confirm point that I'm so gonna get divorce him. That divorce is the only way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you're pregnant, yeah. How does your husband treat you? Oh, he treat me well. He okay. Although mentally there is a things going on, but yeah, he wanted to keep the baby, and uh, yeah, so he. Uh, always telling me that don't make yourself too tired uh yeah eat properly you know it's uh he was he, i thought he was caring for me okay yeah so why i why i ask you this because there's a accusation or uh, the statement mm -hmm. from the kids that mm -hmm. say that when in singapore since 2021 mm -hmm. you you become like a drunk Mm. drunk mommy mm. uh, when you drunk you came to the room and mm. then you snap mm. you sp smash things so you scold the, the, the children tell them that uh, you wish that they're not your kids and everything <laughs> I really don't want to talk about the kids because I don't know how to express my emotion that's why I told him for whatever he wants to accuse me, especially for the kids, go to Singapore court. You have all the accusation with the evidence and the kids, kids is with you, right? Go to Singapore, find a professional help or professional judge to see 
what is truth. And the thing is, I'm not alcoholic. I, my family, when they drink, I become a lobster, top to toe red. All my friends know, and he knows. And I start to drink after I met him. You start to drink after you met him? Yeah. Because what? I know that I become red after and I easily fall asleep when I drunk. So I'm not a big fan of alcohol. But after I met him, yeah, I start to drink some, try the wine and other drinks. My husband is a heavy drinker. Mm. Everybody knows. Mm. He loved the whiskey. He loved the, uh, what is that? Gin and tonic, wines. Yeah, he, he knows uh, the flavor of uh, good wines and he, he has a very uh, wide knowledge about the liquors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because when the statement is came mm. out about you being an abusive mom, mm. especially since 2021, which mm. is the start of your husband moving to Indonesia, mm. uh, several netizens assume mm. that you you in the state of stress. Because I of do, the infidelity, yeah, um, or the, or but the that thought time, of there's something infidelity. Mm, okay, that time I still didn't expect that he would cheat on me. That time, yeah, it's just hard. Okay, so he's not in Singapore most of the time, mm -hmm. and I was relying on him a lot because he was he was a sweet husband, I must say. I I also mentioned him several times. You are my shield. I rely on him a lot. That's why I decide to live in Singapore, just to marry him, leave a whole my family behind okay. in Korea. So I rely on him a lot. And I had a morning sickness every pregnancy. He have the same symptom of a morning sickness with me, you know. When I go to the toilet and puke, he stand next to me and puke together. He was that sweet. I don't know what had happened. I don't know. But yes, if they are talking about 2021, I'm stressed. I think yes, uh, it's just the uh, recover from the, the, uh, the, the pandemic. Oh, I see. Business things are starting, and with the three kids, and uh, my girls entering the, the teenage time. Yeah, I, I shout at the kids from time to time. As a parent, you're arguing with the kids, right? Yeah, sometimes I was like angry then. It's normal things that when the parents shout discipline, arguing with the kids, I think mine was within that level. If I'm that abusive and the kids are scared of me, how is he going to explain all my photos and videos? And until back in here, everybody saw it, the helpers and teachers. My boys are like uh, sticking to me literally. You cannot accuse me with the, my love toward my kids. You, your special PA, just uh, buy whatever kids want, bribing, them. that's the bribing. You are bribing to get their heart. I'm the mother. I need to direct the kids when they are going to wrong direction. Rude, use a cursing word. All these things you need to direct them, discipline them, right? If uh, you are accusing me because I discipline my kids, then I don't know if parenting is totally different then. <laughs> you feel you saw the statement your husband gave to the media? I didn't fully watch. I just hear some key points. I don't want to know everything. You still recognize your husband? Hmm? You still recognize him? He... Now he is not the person that I used to know. He is not the person that I used to know. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So, back to the your your first daughter. Mm. 
at the video, we saw that your daughter is like... Hate me so much, Yes. Said. Yeah, understand. Perhaps your relation with um, your daughter. He's, she's teenagers. She is teenager, but uh, back in Singapore, we are still close and she she is very uh, very boys. She she is able to express herself well. Mm -hmm. So some of the accusations she made, I don't understand. Like what? Like uh, I told them uh, I I uh, kind of uh, what beat them and scold mm. them mm. and told them then not to tell the daddy. Mm. That cannot happen because. Anybody touch her, she will immediately call my husband. Okay. Yeah. Either it's me or my in-laws. Anybody scold her, although it's her fault, her first thing is uh, immediately call daddy or text daddy. Mm. She's so close with uh, the she daddy. She is always daddy's girl. Daddy's girl. Yeah. So, so the logic is uh, she's so close to the daddy, so mm. anything happened to her, She's easy to immediately report. let immediately. daddy knows. Yeah, mm -hmm. and daddy will uh, call me or call my in laws and scold us if we scold if we scold her. Oh really? Yeah. So if you scold your daughter, mm. she will tell the dad, mm. and, and the dad daddy will scold. call me back. Mm. Yeah, that's generally. That's uh, especially recently while we are here. It's always like that. So my in-laws also told me uh, when I complain of like uh, her behavior is not right. Mm -hmm. uh, what should we do? You mm -hmm. know, then my in-laws, uh, the, both of them said that they gave up already. She, only my husband, they said only the father can control her. Don't ask us, just uh, let it be. I, I gave up already. That's what my in-laws told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my in-laws, uh, been taking care of my kids and especially the boys are very close to me and my in-laws. Okay. So there is a times that my girl uh, make my boys, uh, you know, make the situation that the boys uh, get scolded hmm? and the things my in-laws can see it. It, it. It's not their fault, but she make it oh. like their fault. So yeah. the daddy will scold the boys. Yeah, so the, my in-laws are trying to protect the boys. Yeah. Okay, see. Uh, there's a video uh, a picturing that uh, your daughter is like very emotionally like, and then there's a claim that she is self harming. Self harming. Okay, that one I actually asked uh, other mummies to clarify and help mm. me. Uh, so that one, I remember that day she came home. Uh, not changing clothes, not showering, just uh, keep crying and she stay in her room. Mm -hmm. So I separate time went up to check on her. So a lot of tissues and she was on the call with uh, her friend in Singapore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I asked her what had happened. She said she doesn't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I gave, gave her the time and space. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to talk to me, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then that kind of a status and teenage time, mm -hmm. You force her to talk. It's they will not. Yeah. They will not talk to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, back the first, I didn't recognize that she cut mm -hmm. because she was wearing the long sleeve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, later, I heard from my son and uh, my in-laws that uh, in the school something happened, and uh, they suspect that like, ah, uh, you don't want to back mouth. Yeah. But it's, there's another problem. Yeah, another problem that your daughter faced on the school. Yeah, it's more about uh, the friendship and uh, relationship. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, th that's what I heard. So I thought uh, maybe with a friend uh, something happened or uh, she got bullied. I don't know. So I went up to her room a few times to check on her, but. She still, until late time, she talked to her friend. Okay. Yeah. Then I saw, she took off her jacket or the, then I saw her mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. about here to here. Mm -hmm. It's a red mark uh, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not wrist. She said she cut her wrist, right? Yes. Uh, I didn't see that. What I remember was uh, this part, but she kind of mm -hmm. 
uh, sharp things are scratch, mm. but uh, there's a no blood. Is uh, when you scratch, there is a red lines mm. appear, right? But I got shocked mm. because mm. yeah, oh, what had happened? What is this? Mm. Can you please uh, mm. tell mm. me? Then she's like, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Then I was like, Oh, your daddy knows, and uh, he's gonna freak out. Mm. Yeah. Then she told me not to tell. So I wanted to talk it out with her. Then after that, I think I think that one happened before I gave birth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, you know, back then about that time, she was very nasty toward me, use, using the cursing word and, uh, you know, it's on and off. So when it's good, good. But when she's a bad, or when daddy is around, she's very nasty toward me. So I was waiting because the best way to communicate with a teenager is you have to be patient and wait for them to open up. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So I was just a little bit instead of go and dig it out. Mm. And of course, I asked around the parents and the friends, but the friends mm. say that, oh, we are not so sure, but. Yeah, she she cried and she did that in the school. The information what I verified is she did that in the school mm. and uh, the friends saw it and uh, some of mummies who was in the school saw it. So they told the teacher because uh, they also concerned about my daughter's uh, mental being. Why, why did she do that? Why self-harm? Mm -hmm. So I think the school recast us, they email us to have a meeting. Okay. Yeah. Then my husband said he will go. Okay. Ask me not to. Okay. Mm. So, so, so he went uh, to uh, to accommodate her. And yes, I trying to uh, get back her heart, her love to me. So uh, she wanted to buy the origami papers and oh, all I those uh, things. The she, mm. My girl loves to collect the sticker and make mm. the origami. So she said, uh, running out of the origami paper, asked me to order. So I found it in the, mm. the e-commerce. So what I did is like a letter choose, give my mobile. She, mm. she will mm. see, she will choose and mm. put it in the basket. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's a small, small things, but a yeah. lot of them from different shops. And so you got school so because I, you bought it. Yeah. So I didn't go, went through. I just see the price and, uh, you know, it, it's a reliable source. Mm. Then I bought for her. I just uh, make a payment for her. So that time she did, she ordered not only the origami paper, she ordered like a stationery, like a pens. And uh, I think there was a, like a Caesar. I remember I saw the mini Caesar, like mm. a key holder Caesar. Mm. But I didn't know about there is a pen knife that it looks like a pen. Mm -hmm. But uh, the tip has a sharp edge. So when you do the origami or mm -hmm. cutting out from the paper, mm -hmm. I think that's the purpose of that. It's not like a pen knife. Uh, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So I didn't really reckon that. And I thought that's for her to do her like uh, art, art craft things. Okay. But did your husband tell the reason why mm -hmm. she harmed herself? No, the only scold you because uh, scold scold me that I didn't tell him, mm. and I actually provided like the hum humming okay. skill, uh, the tools. Okay, but he didn't scold you because you beat her or whatever. Because I didn't beat her. Okay. Yeah. So at that time when you saw the, mm. that's not related to how you treat your daughter. Yeah, okay. because I, that he she did it in the school. Okay. If she did that and then cry or talk to the friends that, oh my my mom so abusive, mm -hmm. she hit me, mm -hmm. bum bum bum. Then mm -hmm. the, they will know, right? Yeah. But what I heard from the friends and the, mm -hmm. the others is like because of her relationship with a friend. Okay. Yeah. Now the second thing is about the insurance. Mm. You, you oh. mentioned about the insurance oh, yeah. debt. Yeah, yes, that I you mentioned. are the beneficiary of the your all your kids' insurance. I don't know. I need to talk to insurance agent because oh. uh, I I really have to thank 
thanks to h o t m a n because until he mentioned, I totally didn't think about the insurance part. Okay. Yeah, because uh, yeah, the whole family insurance is handled by my husband. Mm -hmm. He is the one choose the like uh, com uh, insurance company and the product, mm -hmm. and yes, I'm. I'm not good at that, so mm. I didn't even read it or choose. Mm -mm. So uh, I I need to know what kind of uh, insurance I have for myself and mm. also the case. He he knows the things. I I may need to check my mm. email because I remember there is a few times that he tell me I'll oh, pay for this one and that one mm. kind of uh, insurance mm. zero mm. payment. Mm. Yeah, but. Uh, I don't know the details of. Uh, you don't know the insurance. detail. Yeah. You don't know who's the beneficiary. Yeah, of the I don't know insurance. who's the beneficiary. But usually the case one, I believe, uh, the policy holder or who, mm. both mm. parents, I uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. You you want to check about that? Yeah, I want to check about okay. it yeah. because uh, how, how what do you think about the the statement that um, there's a you maybe. Get the gain mm. from the insurance if mm. something happened to your children. Mm. Oh, okay. That part I can't remember what Mr. Hartman said. I only heard that he mentioned about the insurance, right? Mm. And uh, I trying to harm my kids to got the insurance, get the insurance money. Then, is it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to say. And, and the thing is. How can you think like that? Uh, is there any birth parents, biological parents, will do that to their kids to pursuing the insurance money, so you hurt your kids? As a human, can do that? I don't no, know. Right? It's only a non fail maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the thing is, I don't know what's the beneficiary arrangement. Uh. -uh. You even don't know about the insurance. And, yes, and I don't know what's the payout, what's the insurance coverage. Okay. Then how can I do that? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last. Why you took eight months to put your children to school? Oh, eight months. Is it's it not eight months. Month? Uh, let me calculate. Four months. Oh. Uh, no, it's uh, it's almost a one semester because okay yeah oh thank you for uh, mm -hmm. mentioning about it okay oh he did mention that in the, his video yeah oh okay uh, like, sorry I didn't watch his you're video you're like so. uh, neglecting mom uh -huh. because it took you so long to put your children to school but the but special it, personal assistance only need just that oh sort then of why time. he didn't do that okay uh okay wow. So we came here 2022, November 27, almost a December, right? Uh, and when we decide to come down here, it was uh, 2023, uh, 2022, like uh, second half mm -hmm. of the year, about uh, August, September around there. Then we moved uh, within two two month time. And that time, the school things I couldn't think about it. I thought he will uh, find out the at least the list of the schools here because. I was in Singapore and I've been there, mm -hmm. not here. Mm -hmm. And to move to here, I need to settle my business and uh, you know the house center, uh, all those uh, admin stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I didn't think about uh, studying about the schools here. I just uh, get some of the names from mm -hmm. my Indonesian friend mm -hmm. and uh, the friends that who used to live in Indonesia. So I have like a three, four names, but mm -hmm. I didn't really research. I thought. Mm -hmm. We come down here. We need to go and see the school. Mm. Then we can decide. Mm. So came down. It's already December. Then uh, Christmas, mm. New Year. But while uh, among that time, we managed to go and see few schools, mm. visit the school, and there is a new school came up, and uh, the friends are recommended. Uh, but there is uh, some conditions that some of the school doesn't have a class for my first daughter. And also some other school, uh, my girl is uh, about grade six, so they don't accept her. And uh, the, the availability vacancy is the matter that a uh, few schools we can't apply. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the school we could uh, apply for two boys, but he he didn't like it. It's a very new school, and I also feel that maybe it's a uh, mm -hmm. newly established, so maybe uh, see other school. Yeah, so. I, I did a try, uh -uh. yeah, but then I realized that 
so at the end we choose one school went for the open uh open house mm. yeah and also start the application mm. i found the a contact mm. and thing but that school it took us like uh, almost uh, three four months the process. For the process yeah uh, it took me almost two months to just uh, submitting all the document, mm. getting the letter from the Singapore schools mm. and kids went for the assessment, interviews and mm. went down to school to do the computer, uh, the test. Mm. Yeah, but that one even uh, do the interview for the parents. Mm. But at the end, that one only my daughter got accepted, not the boys. Okay. But we wanted the three, all three kids in the same, same school, school for the same. logistics wise yeah. and everything. Yeah. And also, the thing is, here the semester is different from Singapore. I didn't know. Yeah. If you've been here, okay, you're not from, uh, not focused on, it's fine. But you, your PA could tell us that uh, it's a one semester, the timing is different from Singapore, right? Mm. Yeah. So, I only found out while I'm doing the mm. application process. Yeah. So, basically, I can't put the keys like January, February, middle of it, because of that yeah. that in, intake was already done uh, yes. long ago. Yeah. And even the July uh, intake, the school only start to receive the application from April or something yes. like that. Yeah. So I did what I can do while I'm here, okay. although there is a language barrier. Mm -mm. Uh, and he, yeah, he, I, I also remember he complained to me that you neglected the kids' education. If you allow her to do it, she's right away settled. Then why it didn't? You, and mm. and uh, the thing is that yes, I also not happy that if she want to handle my kids things. Why? Because I don't want. Mm. I know that that's too special. <laughs> so, yeah, you can blame me, but I did what I can do here. Okay. And supposed and to be he, he's supposed to be prepared for the school before you move in Indonesia, right? Yeah, the it, okay. It has to be a common effort. Both of us oh, have yes. to study or whatever. But I'm I was doing my work there, and you are the one in this market, and you have all the connections, right? Then you could get the all the recommendations and things mm. from your connections, your mm. friends. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ya, ini soal sekolah ya. <laughs> soal sekolah karena mereka pindahnya di akhir tahun, uh, bisnis itu berarti masuk tengah-tengah semester, sementara anak yang pertama itu sudah grade 6 ya, grade 6, right? Ya. Grade 6 itu uh, berarti kan mau ujian. Sebetulnya memang tidak banyak sekolah yang bisa menerima anak yang masuknya di semester terakhir di kelas 6 gitu ya. Sehingga memang dia uh, banyak sekali harus adaptasi karena uh, Term waktu sekolah antara Singapura dan Indonesia itu sedikit berbeda. Sehingga memang membutuhkan waktu. Tapi dia berusaha bukan neglecting uh, pendidikan anak-anak. Bukan, tapi memang prosesnya memang lama. Karena mereka pingin tiga anak itu ada di satu sekolah. Ada satu sekolah yang bisa menerima dua anaknya. Tapi satu anaknya mungkin belum bisa tertampung dan lain sebagainya. Jadi ada banyak kendala memang. Suaminya sempat mengatakan juga, kamu menik Uh, kamu mengabaikan pendidikan anak, padahal kalau diserahin sama super asisten ini bisa selesai dalam waktu singkat. Ya kenapa enggak gitu, tapi Amy sendiri juga enggak ingin diserahkan karena dia tidak ingin. You don't want the special assistant to take care of your yeah, children. Yeah, because she, she is a PA, he's, he's a system for work. Oh uh, right? yeah, different. Because, uh -uh. No, I mean like, basically I, as a woman, mm -hmm. I didn't want her to touch my kids at all. I honestly tell. Uh, although he said it's, it's not cheating, they are like working relationship. Mm -hmm. But as a one mother and a woman, my instinct, I just don't want her to touch anything about my kids. You touch my husband, isn't it enough? Sorry, I, I just cannot control my anger. Um, yeah. So if you want to blame me about that, okay, I take it, I take it. But you cannot say that I neglect my kids. Why you are outside, okay, doing the business, attending the meeting, and I know that you went where with her, yeah. But I was at home with the kids and your par your parents, yeah. And the kids been doing the online classes and 
I I discussed with him and he also willing to discuss with us. So we registered like Singapore online platforms. And why you give us instruction and high level strategy? We are the one, me, helpers, and my, his parents are the operation managers. We come up with a daily schedule and the legal system that he suggests. We, so we make it when you do complete this task, you know, what kind of a benefit or reward you can get. That's the operation system we are working on. And you can't just uh, give the idea and it, it doesn't go what you plan because it's a case. Kids are not the law, but you can't just plan, plan, plan that you expect them to follow. You need to convince them, you need to teach them, you need to sit next to them to execute the plan and the schedule. A, and we have a, back then one in my tummy, three outside. Okay. This is very, also his case. The character-wise, all my family are quite strong. So... He cannot accuse me, basically, neglect my kids. Mm. No. Okay. So, um, how, how long have you been never uh, not seeing your kids? Since, okay, baby is uh, since 21st January. And the okay, uh, technically, 21st January morning, I saw he, her until they took her away. So, and from 22nd January till now, I haven't seen the baby. And uh, boys and my girl is more because that week, it was a school time. So, um, yeah, they went to school. The, when they go to school, come home is evening tired. So usually I have no chance to see them. So that's why that particular weekend, 20 and 21st January, from Friday, I text him that, over the weekend, can I, can you send over the boys? I will help them to do the homework and uh, let me spend time with them. So I think it's now seven to eight weeks that I haven't seen my kids, but my daughter, I saw it on the hospital on Friday, right? And um, my second one on the video clip, but the one I haven't seen, the one. <laughs> The one is also very sweet boy. I haven't seen him almost two months, more than two months now. Yeah, I hope he's fine. If there's a chance that your kids can see you, what, yeah. what do you want to say to them? I've been now, because I emailed my first and second one and trying to text them, but the text was blocked. So I couldn't reach them out. So I've been using this opportunity to talk to the kids. <sighs> kids. Edra. I have been telling a few times, I hope you have a chance to see it. Mommy is here. And Especially my number one and two. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever you have to say, whatever you have to feel, it's okay. When we meet, we just need to meet and hug, then everything's gonna be fine. You don't need to worry anything. You don't feel bad anything. And you guys know I'm very strong. Yeah, I'm very strong, right? And you guys are strong because you guys are my kids. Nobody can, nobody can do this to us. The God knows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you guys back. I'm fighting for it. Hanging there, hanging there. And please, please, four of you, hold a hand, look after each other. Especially your younger brother and sister, you guys need to take care of them, right? Number two, I know you, you, will, you are taking care of my baby, right? So please, 
you guys are bonding together, hold each other, take care of each other. All right. I will see you very soon. I will see you very soon, really. Mommy promise. <laughs> Stay strong, all right? I love you. I love you guys. I love you so much. Amy, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, and thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I, will, I will focus on the legal process in Singapore from now on. Okay. And you've been very kind to me and understand my situation. So I actually opened up a lot to you today. But uh, the, the things that I thought I, I really didn't want to reveal. Yeah. But I also think that people know that where I stand. Yes. Yeah. So hope the Indonesian and world netizens understand what I've been uh, talking about. Okay. Thank you. Satu kalimat sih yang yang buat semua ibu pasti rasanya bisa merasakan sakitnya ya. Bagaimana seorang ibu kandung. Tidak bisa menggendong, tidak bisa memeluk anak-anak kandungnya sendiri. Sementara dia melihat perempuan lain yang bukan ibu kandungnya, bisa. Kalaupun memang ada masalah, diselesaikan di pengadilan. Tapi kita semua berharap agar anak-anak tidak mendapatkan dampak lebih besar lagi dengan menampilkannya ataupun mengeksploitasi mereka melalui media. Gitu. Karena perceraian saja sudah amat berat buat anak-anak. Apalagi drama-drama yang dipertontonkan melalui media. Amy, yeah. uh, we hope and wish for you the best for you and the kids. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please pray for me and kids. Of course. Uh, untuk semuanya, jadi pelajaran buat kita semua. Untuk orang Indonesia juga yang sudah banyak memberikan dukungan buat Amy. Kita berdiri di sisi ibu kandung. ya Dan sisi juga tentunya yang terutama kepada anak-anak. Gitu ya. Mudah-mudahan ini semua bisa diselesaikan. Kalau memang ada terjadi pelanggaran, biarkan hukum yang membuktikan. Tetapi bukan uh, sebuah drama-drama di luar pengadilan. Gitu. Uh, dan ya mudah-mudahan hal yang terjadi pada Emi tidak dialami oleh semua ibu-ibu yang lainnya. Ataupun tidak ada anak-anak yang harus mengalami terseret-seret dalam arus yang seperti ini. Begitu ya. Spill the tea. Terima kasih sudah mengikuti perbincangan kami. Oke, okay, then. Let's spill the tea.